good morning everyone my name is anand malewar so now i'm going to talk about success story of the lake revival project and before that by seeing this photo you feel so comfortable right yeah. it was a bangalore about not 25 30 years back and we had a crystal clear also like kabal park and all these areas unfortunately you know contribution from the a uh, lot of various business sector bangalore is grown very rapidly with the unauthorized or unstructured way full of topic full of concrete and also entire uh, bangalore or uh, in terms of five elements what we talk we have spoiled everything today and also we had a one way two ways now because of metro construction and a lot of improvements and development all are become half ways now right how many lakes do you think bangalore had about you know, 30 40 years anyone can tell 500 500 where did you got it near 500 men camping out of yes that's right you are great and that's up that next you will be in this stage okay right so he said 500 actually much before you now people says our article says that 1100 lakes in bangalore right or of 1100 it came to next generation 500 next another generation it came to 30 you know not even single lakes are potable or crystal clear water it was the scenario like 1973 to now all become red by killing our all lakes by cutting our trees because of creating like this we have closed all the rajnallas all water bodies and not only we have closed we have started utilizing much more detergents chemicals lot of industries and all and also if you see this lake this is called alsur lake which is in the center city where it's supposed to be a lifeline of the uh, city for drinking water today if you see that lake and it is full of like a uh, you know sugar cane juice color and probably you know instead of drinking water now god gift is there for you you are drinking sugar cane juice in free of cost and just imagine uh, if you go for one round of alsur lake just for walk you used to get a best breeze at least 100 degree less temperature around the also lake you used to hear a lot of bird sound and other thing but today you can hear bird sound and you cannot get any proper breath because it is generating a lot of methane gas subsequently why i am showing this photo is as a village boy where i born in northern karnataka you know small village which is a 150 houses i studied government school which is in the bed of the lake instead of spending my time uh it is cool i spent in most of the time in a lake or of 8 hours classes i am supposed to be in lake that is why today i am standing here and being a village boy i know much better about what is lake how supposed to be water you know how supposed to be surrounding of the lake and it made me you know start thinking and worrying about bangalore scenario today or probably globally you know every city everywhere same thing is happening and also uh, when i read the uh, article in the bbc world they were talking about by 2025 after the cape town and bangalore is the uh, you know dry city and people will be in a so much of trouble they don't have a drinking water so you know i was started worrying that bangalore was the place which is 3000 feet above the sea level and we had a very good you know ecology and we had a very crystal clear water in our well which is about 10 feet and from well to we migrated to bore well bore in bore well 200 feet to we reach 1800 earlier if we drill about 100 bore wells about at least success rate is 98 now if you drill 1000 bore well you don't even get 10 success rate you don't get water and all the tds level is so high so we have reached somewhere uh from a uh, well to borewell borewell to tanker from tanker to now we have got into 20 rupees 1 liter water bottle so i thought you know what to do then i thought of 
creating awareness. Awareness, how many people? One and a half crore people in the uh, Bangalore, six and a half crore or people in the maybe Karnataka. So I don't think I'm a celebrity or something else where I can push into people's mind. Then I wanted to do activism. I wanted to go every office and anything. You know, I wanted to go in this government and I wanted to do activism. So then I thought there is no much time. Then I started uh, thinking of approaching the governments with available resources, with available condition. They are doing something. I don't think they can you know, anticipate for us. Then I chosen the way of CSR funding. There are close together, lags, uh, lags together companies are there in Bangalore which out of their CSR funding, 2% they should do social cause. I thought at least motivate them to invest on water project. And same way, I thought of approaching, you know, some companies whom to approach. Then I thought Sensor Engineering Limited, where I worked 16 years, better to approach them. And they know very well about us, even our third persons. When we approach them after, you know, several meetings, they agreed to take up, you know, lake project. Then this lake is called uh, Kalasnari Lake, which is about 36 acres. Out of 36 acres, 2 acres of the land, where you have this much, and we used to have around 3 feet water. And rest all entire, it is become victim of industrial effluence, dump pad, and muck, and very much useful places for playing the cricket ground. Meanwhile, when I started working, then government of Karnataka, in September 2016, they organized one program called Bring Back the Lakes, this event. In this event, I realized that it is a little you know, tricky and difficult job to you know, do the lake resumations. Reason is, one is resources, money and interest and lot of political pressures. There will be a lot of people, they get into a lot of activism in this thing. And I asked them that, can I take up one lake in a PPP model, Private Public Partnership model. Then I signed the MOI with the government of Karnataka. They also warned me that uh, if you take a 36 acre lake, you will have to have a budget of about 16 crores and you will have to have a time of about one month and a half year. And uh, it is a lengthy process that for clearing encroachment and other thing and uh, uh, all those stuff. Without sparing, then I signed the MOI by thinking that when I think for others, God will take care of me. I did not bother about money. Time or anything. Straight away, I gone ahead and signed the MOA. After that, about seven to eight months, they took you know, for doing the survey of this lake. Seven to eight months, I did not sleep or keep quiet. Then I started studying about you know various lakes. I visited about 140 lakes in Bangalore, which is about 70, 80 lakes or untouched lakes, which are rural lakes. I understood everywhere that. What is wrong, what is right, where to take care, how to do it. By the time they came to survey, I was ready completely with design of the lake. I did not depend on any environmentalist or any hydrology expert or somebody else. I went practically seeing, I was ready with design, which can be revived in less than one crore, less than 50 days. And I was almost through with the you know, people that where I can create encroachment without single guard from the government of Karnataka. And when the moment surveys happen, then I thought of just getting into uh, lake resumation after 10-15 days. Then villagers, everybody, they pressurized me that after the survey, if you leave another one week's time, then all these stones will be mowed. Once stones will be mowed, then it will be controversial. You cannot do the lake. So now you should do it immediately. But only worry was, my company, I did not take any approval of financial thing because uh, we thought it will take some time. But I went to each and every home of 450 house. I met kids to middle age to old age people and I told them I will bring back to our lake in a matter of just one to two months. April 20th, I called all the people and we had a puja with only four folk line. 8 trucks and 2 JCBs. I started my work. Within 40 days, I could be able to lift up my mud off about 18 feet deeper, about 4,60,000 cubic meter of mud, which about I have created 5 islands, or 3.5 kilometer of length burned all around the lake, which can you know, be encroachment free. Whichever higher level areas, I made islands, 
wherever you can see islands they were a concave and convex area concave i have dug up convex i brought down adapting some of my engineering skills which last 18 years i worked in automotive industry so all those skills has been used and entirely turned with the available material main thing is lake is ready everything and we should bring in a water to bring in a water about 2.6 km into three rajnallas which it was a 1 ft 1.5 ft they all encroached and closed by convincing farmers in their land i dug up about three rajnallas i opened up about 11 streams of water flowing in a different gravity this is the place where you know ecology is developed and there will be water body of 60% 40% of green belt so we planted 5600 saplings with the 1600 nature lovers in a 1 hour 55 minutes and i applied for guinness world record so probably they will take some time to you know add it and uh, also we have done a project in 94 lakhs less than 45 days we have dug up about 4.6 lakh cubic meter of mud and we have created a you know water holding capacity of more than 7 to 8 times and also we declared uh, without any uh, officials i cleared about 12 acres of encroachment which is costing about 5 to 6 crores per acre today even farmers surrounding with their own relatives there are a lot of cases are running last 10 years for you know just 1 1 ft of land but the way we convinced them the way we approached them we educated them to leave their land for noble cause and august 15th we did a flag hoisting by telling bangalore's first zero encroachment lake first zero encroachment lake and the it entire encroachment has been cleared we did not take farmers one inch we did not leave one inch that concept we have done i can tell proudly about it and after this it also started getting dry once it started getting dry they said at least we had a greenery we had a little bit water for our cow cattle now you made it a cricket playground it was worse than earlier so god grace which you know all in september <laughs> september 2017 which bangalore is got flooded after the history of 27 years of bangalore we issued a highest rain this lake every year 5 feet like that next it will going to be a filled up about 4 to 5 years like that i thought and designed this lake nine and of this 20 feet of the crystal clear water is filled up where i did a biking in this i roamed in a bare foot and did the this project without having any contractors or supervisors or engineers or anyone this lake is become a tourist spot and the entire 10 villages they were enjoyed and cherished night and of days when water is flowing in a huge way like a falls here so then i thought my job is over so let me now i have contributed something let me keep quiet but people did not leave me happily they started telling me that since you do forever is since you do in the local process since you know how the how to handle these projects and you are also successful why don't you take it further then i also started thinking okay let me do more because the happiness i got the encouragement i got not only by people from the god that even god is supported for our effort and that is how i took a second leg of fortsandra then i started dreaming about rejuvenating the lake stream wise so that one lake to another lake another lake to another lake it will not going to overflow with the contamination so that let me do stream wise then i took a chosen a lake of 80% filled up lake where this is 2007 filled up same way it is also filled up then every villages same process i followed everything then i asked villages can i leave this water everybody is agreed then i thought see again rain first time now came i won if second time if i discharge this water if i do rejuvenation by spending so much of money if there is no rain then it is waste of then i started working the concept of 80% water with the help of hewlett packard inc of about 80 lakh rupees this lake also 45 days without discharging single drop of water without killing one frog or one fish i could able to rejuvenate this entire lake this way it's 
since it is a 50 feet above the uh, Kalsnali Lake, this lake has been designed as a reservoir concept where it can hold more water. It has got a three zones: zone one, zone two, zone three. This lake here in after when city become it become a city. That time you know enough, you know, investing for your sewage treatment plant, which is in close together. Whether they will give a result, nobody knows across the planet. But here I have planned something natural biological sewage treatment system, which can be run without electricity, without any human interference or anything. We have got our aquatic plants, which is so powerful that where they can filter our sewage system. And also we have created a Miyawaki forest. In this lake also, Kalisnari have we have to Bangalore's highest Miyawaki, about four Miyawaki with a thirty thousand saplings are there in a, our two lakes, which is your Lalbagh and Kaban Park is having six thousand five hundred saplings or five thousand five hundred. Huh? We have created about four to five, you know, Kaban Park in one area. It will become oxygen center for the Bangalore. And then again in two thousand eighteen. Heikel Pharma Limited, they came and approached me that we want us to do one lake. When I visited this lake, people are talking about you no know, gel lake, you no know, frothing lake, burning lake, and other stuff. So this was a washed condition that it is taken 45 cows, cattle, and life. And in every surrounding village, there were all the bore wells got poisoned. So such lake again in 45 days, we have rejuvenated this lake, and it is ready for the monsoon to receive the water. And also here I did. This is a rainwater lake I have separated farmer side. This is a lake which I have created natural biological sewage treatment where without any STP, entire sewage is separated. It will get crystal clear. This lake is again uh, one of the successful lake of you know naturally rejuvenated. I started dreaming about vision 2025 where I am going to rejuvenate 45 lakes, 45 lakh trees in the Anekal Taluk. It will become a one of the best place to stay in Bangalore. And also, myths are there. You have to be government. You have to be localized. You should have more money. You should have more time. You should also have a capacity to clear the encroachment by power. But without having anything, when I did, you can also do it. Thank you so much.